Hello everybody. Usually when you develop a dashboard you use a lot of VLOOKUPs like uh, I'm going to show in this example a new component which will reduce or actually which will kill the use of VLOOKUP into your dashboard. Let's see this example as you see here I have a list of information 12 months of sales and budget for each unit I have around 6 units could be more than 6 units could be dynamic and they have this you know this is considered as the master data for this list I want to search for the selected unit from here into this list and return a 12 months of sales and budget into this new list usually what you will do you will write a VLOOKUP and you will put like for example a combo box you will select a unit from here and then you insert the unit somewhere and you write 12 VLOOKUPs for sales, 12 VLOOKUPs for budget and so on. What if it was dynamic, like it was in 12 months for example, it was something for other business. You know, it will consume your time writing, uh, writing a lot of VLOOKUPs. What I'm going to do here, I, I will introduce a new custom component called symbol vlookup because you know i'm working on another one for advanced vlookup the symbol vlookup component here you have this properties for the vlookup we will pass the source list i will select this this is my source list and i will select you know the target list which will be also the same the same dimension like for example if I have four columns it will return also four columns okay here I'm selecting the target list and I'm going to see which column I will be used to filter I'm going to filter unit filter months or which one even if I have three four columns I can filter based on to any column I want I will select for example this is the filter column and I will write one here to consider it, consider it the first column and which text will be used in the filtering process I can you know here I will select to this and they can write for example unit one here now I want to show or I want to put some component to select which filter text like for example I will add this my source list and I will insert the label into here so whenever I select unit 1 it will come to here and so on okay now I want to see the output of my component okay I will put a chart say a line chart which will display by series I will add the series name and I will select sales the values which will be returned from the component and I will add another series which will be the budget also which will return the values coming from the custom component Okay, now I will add the category labels. Same way will be returned. Okay, now I'm done. I will run this into the previewer. Here you see once you select unit one, let's so bring it into the front. selecting unit 2, selecting unit 3, even you can display the unit into the chart I can make the chart title shows my unit which will be also returned from the custom component unit 1, if you are selecting unit 1, unit 4 and so on to the chart you can just into the behavior in series and in values ignore blank cells in case Celeste return blank you see and now in few minutes you have reduced 
two mini VLOOKUPs right here. Your code. Good luck.